Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to graph a line that's going to be perpendicular uh, to this equation, which you can see is in standard form. And when graphing perpendicular lines, remember perpendicular lines, we know intersect each other at a 90 degree angle, but they also have opposite reciprocal slopes. <clears throat> and when dealing with this problem, there's a couple different ways we can determine what the slope is. The most basic way that we learn how to do that is just to convert it to slope intercept form. So you could have negative x plus 2y equals 3. And then to convert this to slope intercept form, I need to isolate my y variable. So to do that, I'll just get the x and the 2 onto the other side. So to get this x over there, I need to use inverse operations. So I'll add x to both sides, where that adds up to 0. So therefore, I'm left with 2y equals 3 plus x. However, writing it in slope intercept form, we want to write our variable first in front of our constant. Then to undo the 2, I'm going to divide by 2. So therefore, I have y equals um, x plus 3 divided by 2. But again, we want to make sure it's written in this format. So I need to make sure I divide my 2 into both my terms. So I have y equals 1 half x plus 3 halves. All right. So therefore, we now know that this equation, we want to find an equation that's going to be um, opposite of this or perpendicular to this, where my slope equals 1 half. Right? But we want to find a perpendicular line. Now, there's another way to be able to determine the slope, especially when you have something that's in standard form. And that's a lot of times why we work into getting something that's not in standard form can make it into standard form, because to find the slope is pretty basic. All you're going to do to find the slope is just going to take the opposite of a over b. Well, in this case, you can see that my opposite of a over b, my a, in this case, is negative 1 over my b, which is 2. And the opposite of that is going to make that a positive 1 half. Okay? So that's another way when you have it in your standard form. All right, so we know the slope of this line is 1 half. But remember, we want to find the perpendicular slope. So when I want to find the perpendicular line, I know that my slope has to be the opposite reciprocal. So therefore, my slope is going to be a negative 2. Or we could write a negative 2 over 1. But we know negative 2 over 1 is the same thing as negative 2. And then we also know that that new perpendicular line has to go through the point 1, 7, which I'm going to label as my x1 and y1, as those represent a given point that my line has to go through. So now I'm just going to plug in the information that I have. So I have y minus y1, which is 7, equals m, which is negative 2, times x minus x1, which is 1. Now I can apply my distributive property. So I have y minus 7 equals a negative 2x plus 2. Add 7 to isolate my variable. And my final equation is y equals a negative 2x plus 9. So therefore, you can see that my slopes are opposite reciprocals. And I have this given y-intercept that's going to tell me that's the y-intercept I need with the slope I need for it to go through that point and be perpendicular to this equation. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write a perpendicular line when not in standard form, um, perpendicular to an equation which is not in standard form by using your point-slope form. Thanks.